Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm going to give you a quick update. Um, first spinning. Uh, this is the finished bobbin of the uh, Romney from Homestead Wool and Gill Farm that I spun from the lock. And this Romney was um, hand dyed. I basically used the locks as dye soppers. And you can see it, it ended up being a really nice um, color variation of, of golden yellows and greens and, and variations of, of purple and lavenders and even some um, reddish and browns in there. This was the uh, Romney also from Homestead Wool and Gill Farm and this is in a natural I don't know if it'll focus on that maybe not it's the natural color it is a brownish gray and both of these are going to end up being, uh, this will end up being a fingering weight. And this will end up being a heavy lace to light fingering um, once it is uh, applied. And they'll both be a three ply. The rim, the leftovers from both of those skeins is on this bobbin. Well, the leftovers from the blocks is on this bobbin. If you can see, the colored one is up under there. And, um, this will end up being a remnant skein. And um, right now I'm spinning some red fiber from the red and white. These are meal ends from the Brown Sheep Company and uh, that I got from the Sheep Shed Studio. And that's what I'm spinning right now. I'm spinning the red and whites. I also have red and black, so I'm spinning. And I'm going to be spinning these up using my electric spinner because I'm giving my knee a break. Um, my knee isn't very happy right now, even using the bead. And um, more likely, I'll have to, I'm trying to hold out until the new year before I go in to get my knee checked out. Um, for, uh, I probably have to get the, um, artificial joint lubricant and inject it in the knee again. Also, I ordered a pair of the scissors from Claire uh, by Wilson123 on um, YouTube and I freaking love these scissors. Love them to death. So, thank you. Uh, projects. I got an order for a character hat. And so I finished it, and it'll be going out in the mail tomorrow. Um, I finished my puff stitch towel. And I added some more sheep, little sheep in the background, and hills, and some puffy clouds, and some blue skies to my first attempt on using the intense pencils on a canvas bag. I need to go to the hardware store and get a piece of plexiglass, either plexiglass cut or get a piece of, of um, plywood cut that will actually stretch out this bag so I can press down harder when I'm using the the pencils and stuff because it was, it was on the cardboard. I couldn't, you know, get it into these all these little grooves and stuff on it. But other, other, yeah, but I'm happy with the way it turned out. It looks pretty cool. So, considering my first attempt doing that. And that's pretty much all I have finished right now. Uh, I'll post a link to And I did an Etsy shop update. I added some fibers for doll makers. And I added <clears throat> some more yarn. Um, so, I'll put a link to my Etsy shop below for you guys. You can go over there and see the, the new yarns that I added and I'll be adding more yarns. Now that I have a system that works, I'll be adding more yarns um, to the Etsy shop and I would also like your feedback. Uh, no, I'm not going to drop the prices because my prices are actually a lot cheaper than a lot of hand spun yarns out there and I, you get a lot more yardage from me and you get a better product than some of, some of the stuff that's out there right now. Um, yeah, Sarah Hepworth can attest to the quality of my hands on. Um, as well as several people in the Norfolk, Virginia area who, who use my yarn and who hired me to do custom dye and spinning jobs for them. Uh, and that's pretty much it.
I will see you guys later. Hopefully, I'll be finished spinning this up um, this week, the red yarn, the red fiber, if not, then maybe next week. And then I'm going to start on that big bag of fiber in the, in the corner. But it's, to me, it's over there, in that corner. That, that bag of um, gray fleece is from one of the Wildspar Acres sheep. I think that's Chewy's fleece that I had processed at um, sheep at um, Westwood Farms from last year's um, fleece. Because I have this year's fleece is unprocessed and it's up in the bin up there. So y'all take care and I'll talk to you later.